Everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plates Track Mania for the Golden Goblet. It's day three. Still no idea how I, I did yesterday compared to Dan and Mouth, but I did uh, get the Track Mania medal. I didn't even know that existed. Today we're on number eight. Number eight, are you kidding me? And of course, as you might expect, we're going to delete some timers here. Oh my god, I had no idea I had so many timers set up. Good lord. No resin. 15 minute timer, please. I'm feeling real dialed. Without further ado, let's send it. Uh, so, track uh, or attempt one, you're always just trying to see what the heck's going on. So, we're probably going to want to slow down off the start so that we're not bouncing around like crazy. <laughs> and then we're going to come down. We're going to find ourselves in the slalom. Is that the end of it? No, not the end. That's the end of it. Oh my god, this course is like... This course is all going to be about throttle management. So I just want to see what happens if you completely yeet it. Would not recommend. So you want to... You know, it's like playing Excite Bike. I think you want to land... Roughly... In line... <laughs> oh my god. People are going to absolutely hate this course. This is what I mean when I say that Track Mania... Uh... You know, some some of the courses are pure racing courses, and some of the courses are like uh, I wouldn't even say Mimi necessarily, but a little bit uh, a little bit more puzzle focused is a good way to describe it. At least we can beat our time or not. Um, so I'm trying to think of like how much do we need to slow down, and do we need to slow down on all of them or just on some of them? Certainly, I would say we gotta. There might be, like, an optimum speed that we can hit here. Because, like, that's clearly not very good. Really, I think we need to be positioned as well as possible. In order to, uh... Be straight on the snow. If we're straight on the snow, I think everything's gonna be okay. Like, just that is okay by my standards. <laughs> this is, uh... This is honestly a mess. Um... But it's also a little bit fun. Although I, I have a feeling Dan and Mouth, if they're going to dislike some of the tracks, these are going to be the ones that are most likely to be disliked for sure. That's good landing, brother. That's good landing. And then just straight down. Oh, big whiff, big whiff. <laughs> it's impossible. My, my first run it ended up being my best. I don't know, what do you think about just, just shooting the moon? In theory, right? Like, if you go fast enough... You might be able to get the perfect cadence. That's not gonna help. That's no good. Oh my god. Because, like, you only touch the ground so briefly. Every time you touch the ground... Every steering adjustment you make is like you're gonna overcorrect it the next time out. How did you pass me? Like I, I felt like this was a perfect performance. <laughs> nope, nope. There he goes. So that was going pretty well. The way I'm doing it, like break, you break on the hills, and and I think really, the dream would be to never. Oh, that's real good. The dream would be to never have to adjust much beyond the center. The plausibility of this is up in the air. Just send it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a new best time. We got a silver. Top 214 in British Columbia. I'll take it. I mean, for now, physics is not really my strong suit, I guess. Okay, we're, we're on a speed wobble. It's not great. Now, we were very slow on grass. So I think there's still a chance. Probably not now. So like I think your goal, if you could just get s just completely, just completely on the straight and narrow here. Don't have too many tires touching the ground before your other tires. Just keep it pointed straight ahead. Oh. <laughs> So, I'll just go ahead and tell you that uh, as much as I love Trackmania, I think this course is a little stinky. 
That's okay. It happens. Just try to have some fun with it. It's not really so... It's not really that suitable for a... Uh, for a 15-minute video of just like bashing your head against the wall trying to get this to work, but... Good landing. Good landing. Good landing. We're gonna keep it up. We're gonna keep trying. We haven't had to adjust our steering very much. Um... A front flip gain speed, right? We were close on that one. This is one of the tracks, I'm sure if you if you end up playing this online, people hit the like vote skip function immediately. Now that's the dream. That's not the dream. Oh come on, just flip we were two seconds ahead, dude. We were two seconds ahead. So I'm realizing based on your speed. There are different times, or different ways you approach the terrain. So the ice, we definitely want to minimize your air time. That much I feel confident on. The grass in general, you should be able to drive... Oh, so close. We should be able to drive relatively well on it. It's all about maintaining speed through the dirt, so that on the dirt, we can just give her. Like this. And then here... We're breaking. And then here, straight. Oh, we screwed it up. We were right in there. Okay, we got a strat. We got a strat. So concrete, conservative. Gain speed by just being in the right place at the right time. Here, just give it. Just give her. Good. Ice, slow. Slow and steady. Grass. Keep those wheels pointed at the exit. Oh! That was like, that was a gold. It might have even been a, a green. Irish Spring. Okay, this is subpar. Slight recovery. Still a little funky. Nice little slalom in there. Beautiful. One second off. Did we get a gold? Top 187. I mean, this course is my kryptonite. I'll take what I can get, but, you know, <laughs> just getting a gold medal on it would mean something to me. Okay, that's obviously screwed. So, on this one, you go a little conservative over hump one. Hump two, you can kind of give it. You go conservative over one and two, and on the third hump, you give it. Then here, just send it. Slow. Slower. Almost a full second ahead. Dude. Okay, we still got a new time. <laughs> so we, we've learned something. We really need to slow it down on the, uh, on the final hump on the grass. If we do that, the world's our oyster, dude. I think this is still makeable. Unlikely, but still makeable. Alright, well, it's okay. Where are we at here? Like, seven and a half, eight minutes in? That's okay. That's good. That's good bouncing. This is full sendable. On this... Oh my god, how did we have so much speed before? Good. Good recovery. Then we got a little greedy. Our eyes got a little bigger than our stomach at the end there. On the grass, do we just yeet it? I don't know the answer. What I do know is that that's a solid start there. Keep the ship pointed in the right direction. Oh, the movement. The lateral movement. Dude, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with my silver, honestly. That, that saved us three quarters of a second, huh? I actually think the more I play this, the more I'm like, I think our strat was viable for a bit, but now we really just focus on sending it. I, I think you can full throttle at least the start of this for an easy, an easy little time boost at the start. You have to be pretty perfect. 
Because you need to... That's the key right there. As long as you can reset on that jump. Now, here, just keep it... Just keep it straight. Just keep it straight. Absolutely beautiful. We cut another 1.4 seconds off. There we go. There we go. It's a start. It's a start. We got a gold. We can beat the gold. The gold is beatable. It's all about keeping these wheels as, as straight and level as possible over these. Because every every single correction you make has a dis <laughs> disproportionate effect on where the car goes after that. I will say, this is almost like a Guts and Glory level. This is not my favorite. But you know what? We try nonetheless. If we didn't flip, this one was like half a second ahead. I want that Track Mania medal, quite frankly. Now that I know that there's a level above gold, I want it. Oh, that's bad adjustment. We got ricocheted a little bit. Are we flipping? I would say it doesn't matter at this point. All right. So our, our algorithmic problem-solving engine has done great work. We got ourselves a, a reliable chance to beat the best lap. And you know what? I do appreciate it. It's, it's the short course. At least this isn't, like, this element at the end of an otherwise long course. Flip me. Flip me, dude. Might need a little bit of a break. Like, I think maybe slow is fast on the ice still. That's gonna slow us down a lot. <laughs> oh! Perfect landing! Dude! Took another 2.7 hundreds off. Still got the gold. Top 100 in BC. I can live with that. For a course this cursed, that would be enough. Okay. At least the gold is there. But again, the track mania medal is, is what it's all about. This is smoother, dude. That's a lot smoother. But that might make it anti-smooth in this section. <laughs> I really do look at this as like, uh, we're kind of just like a little marble, you know, making our way through, uh, through the machine. I don't think I control where we end up very much. What about, like, just very quickly, so I almost wonder if with a perfect placement, oh, that's pretty good. Well, now it's not. Um, but I almost wonder if you couldn't get yourself to land on the on the nadir of that first hump, you know what I mean? If you just like just barely Oh, you gotta be going perfectly straight too. Oh, but you know what? We're still we're still in it. That was a nice little boost. The uneven landing is killing us here. Okay, acceptable. Still good. Great. It's all about the perfect landings. It's all about the perfect landings. No! Oh, I we we clipped the one of the gates on the way in. We quit we we clipped the Dunlop Bridge. I don't think we're recovering on that one. Oh. Hopefully the next course is a little bit more race uh, focused instead of physics focused. This is one where, like, so if you play Summer Playlists in Trackmania, um, every course is five minutes long. So you might be like, oh, 15 minutes of this is, like, insane. Well, they would probably be inclined to agree with you. But you know what? Maybe after uh, two days of pure racing, this is what the guys wanted as well. That's, that's all I can hope for right now. Although I'm sure I'll probably get a message in the back channel that's like, what the heck is Track 8? <laughs> Which is a fair assessment. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very nice landing there. Just keep your wheels on the ground. I find that the wheels do tend to roll best uh, when they're not on their side. We were so close on that one. I don't know how close. I mean, we got to be like within the final minute here. Just a couple of more shots. Not a great landing, quite frankly. We were going a little bit too quickly. This time we're a little slower. Still got bounced. 
Didn't keep it pointed in the right direction. Pretty valuable part of driving a car is, is pointing straight ahead. Getting bounced around like crazy. I gotta hit you with a restart because any second now the alarm's gonna go off. If you don't like the lap, kill it fast. I can't even see my timer because my phone's locked. It adds to the suspense. Okay. Oh. Well, that's going to do it. <laughs> it spooked me. I do still think we got a better line in here for us somewhere. Like, can't help but think that maybe that is the play. And it didn't work out very well there. But there, it gave us a huge boost. I'm not even going to be mad. I'm, I'm actually just going to be stoked. Because to get a better time feels nice. So I don't actually know what our previous time was. I guess you can... It was 18.4, roughly. Roughly 18.4. Um, I still feel like... You dip on that one. So much of your success here just depends on... Being pointed in the right direction. Like... I know it seems obvious, but it really does make a big difference. Anyway, we're probably going to call this one right after this lap. Let's see how this son of a gun goes. A little slow, a little slow. We need more. No, we're okay. I don't know. We got such a huge boost on the ice. Well, we got a lot better at the track by the end of it. That's all I can really say. Um, for now, though, thanks for watching. Go check out Dan and Mouse Perspectives. I hope that we have a, uh, hope that we have a little bit more of a pure racing course next. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for your support. See ya!